Hey everyone, so today I'm at the R-Line or Earline Trail State Park in East Thompson, Connecticut. This is one of those rail to trail projects where they take an old railroad bed and turn it into hiking and mountain biking trails. I'm gonna hike this trail all the way to the Tri-State uh, Trail Loop that'll take us to where the border marker of where Rhode Island, Connecticut and Massachusetts come together. I'm also at the site of the Great East Thompson train wreck back in 1891 where four trains collided into each other. Uh, the first train had derailed, but back then there was no radios, there was no uh, rail warnings, there was no way to uh, warn the other oncoming trains. So four trains actually had collided into each other in a small time span. So if we take a look at the billboard sign, you will see information about this being the end of the line uh, where they ended the train service back in 1902. Uh, they filled in the viaduct passenger trains through 1924 ended. Uh, there was only freight trains through 1929 and then um, 1955, the bridge over the Quinnebog River collapsed. Come on, boys, we'll see where this road gives up. Black top and gasoline, it won't be enough. But I keep shifting into neutral while the river's racing by. Yeah, I'm sitting in the chamber, locked and loaded, let me fly. And you won't forget the quakes, they get in your bones. And I've seen the flames taking cities whole. And all my kings and queens and aces now discarded to the fire. Every dollar, every boardwalk, every ticket on the line. Take all these tokens, I don't need them now. Lay every trophy down in.
Alrighty, so after the little marshy area and the river outlet that I just filmed, you have to take a right onto the Blue Trail to follow it up through the woods in order to get to the Tri-State area. Trail looks pretty well used. There's blue blazing on the trees to tell you where you're at. Okay, well, there is no marker to tell you, so what you have to do is you have to make a left-hand turn and stop following this steep, rocky incline that goes up pretty high. Uh, so I'm going to be climbing a little bit in elevation, probably about a couple hundred feet, which kind of makes sense in a way because the tri-point area is actually within Buck Hill management area um, or borderlines on it and it's one of the higher spots in Rhode Island. So yeah, got this rocky steep incline all the way to the marker. So I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up but I am halfway up the hill right now. I don't know if it's going to show you how steep of a climb that really is. Show you how steep of a climb I still have to go till I get pretty much right on top of that hill. Alrighty, so right on top of this hill is the marker. Erected in 1883 to signify the borders of Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. We're on the Tri-State Trail. You can access it by three sides here through Buck Hill Management Area on the Rhode Island side, down through Massachusetts, which is another steep climb. All the way I came in through the Connecticut side, which is another steep climb. So somebody by the name of Jack and Ella put this little waterproof box where you can uh, sign that you came out to the uh, marker and leave them a little greeting. So I went ahead and put my name, the date I was here, and my YouTube channel. I'm going to stop right here, have a little bit of snack, a little bit of water, and talk to you what's been going on. So like I was saying, I think I'm going to stop right here. Have me a uh, snack, drink of water. Uh, talk to you a little bit about what's been going on. So, let me just reposition this microphone. All right, so hopefully with where I repositioned it, it's not too loud. Uh, so, what's been going on? Um, it's been about three weeks. Stay. It's been about three weeks since I've taken a hike. Um, the weather has been getting into that typical springtime New England where it's been heavy downpouring rain, high winds. It's a little breezy today, but it's not that bad. Um, we've had some cold days in the 30s, so haven't been really getting out that much. It's been about three weeks of this weather. Work's been a little frustrating and uh, crazy, but I'm not gonna go into all the details about that. But I have been uploading a bunch of my photography and images on my Society6 site. Uh, real excited about that, uh, the products that I'm selling. Uh, masks, comforters, framed artwork, canvases, uh, tapestry, pillows, uh, you name it. So, real excited about that. Um, started posting a little bit of my greeting cards that I've been making on Society6. Also been posting them on Zazzle. Um, Zazzle had, did a massive website upgrade, so there's still some glitches that I'm working through. Hopefully I can get back to posting on that um, pretty much shortly, but yeah, so I'm going to have a snack. Today's snack I have is actually kind of special. Um, if you are not from the Rhode Island area or New England, you're probably going to be like, what the heck? But it's actually brown bread. Uh, comes in a can. It's from the 
same company that makes B&M Boston baked beans. You find it in the baked bean aisle. And I'll show you this uh, quick here. So this is the slice that I took with me today. Um, as you can see, it is brown bread. They make it with molasses. Uh, don't know if the camera's picking up the ridges through here to show you that it was in a can. Um, just got a big old hunk of it. You toast it up with uh, butter. Oh man, it is good. You can get it with or without raisins. So if you're ever in the Rhode Island, New England area, pick yourself up some of this. It is a treat. Um, but yeah, you cannot find this outside of Rhode Island or New England. Maybe down in Florida if they're stocking it in a specialty shop. But yeah, this is a, definitely a Rhode Island, New England treat. Brown bread in a can. So today's Easter Sunday. It's a beautiful spring day. It's in the 50s. Um, my wife has to work till later today. So we're going to be having a meal with my mother and stepfather um, probably about 6 o'clock tonight. So I figured, yeah, I'd get out, enjoy the day, take a hike. It's been three weeks. So um, once I finish this, I'm going to hike the trail back to the um, airline trunk trail. <coughs> now, if you remember a video that I did a few videos back of the uh, trunk line trail up in Douglas, Massachusetts, that I've hiked on. This is the other end of it on the Connecticut side and it keeps going down into Connecticut. Also um, it's part of the Southern New England or I think it's Southern New England Trunk Trail that um, that railroad bed runs all the way up through Franklin, Massachusetts and such. Um, what I plan on doing some point during the spring as I'm going to mountain bike a good portion of the trail. I'm probably going to do the Franklin section since I'm now hiking the um, East Thompson, Connecticut section. I've hiked the Douglas section. Um, so I'm probably going to mountain bike the Franklin section, although I would like to go back to the Douglas section and mountain bike that all the way through. But that's a good um, 18 to 20 miles. If I had somebody to mountain bike with, I would love to park one vehicle um, at one end, drive to the other, and, and then uh, mountain bike the whole length, and then um, drive back to get the other car. But unfortunately, I do a lot of this stuff alone. Um, none of my friends really get out and explore anymore. So, but anyway, yeah. I'm gonna eat my snack, have a drink of water, and then I'll show you uh, more of the uh, trunk line trail once I hike down to it. So according to my GPS, I have to continue following the blue trail up into Massachusetts um, to get back to the other section of the uh, trunk line trail that I was on. And as you can see, it's just up and down and very rocky really gonna watch your step up through here this is an area that I probably would suggest if you have trekking poles to use them so that you can watch your balance especially if you're gonna come up here where it's snowy and icy during the winter time whoops some of these rocks are loose so yep definitely need to watch your steps up through this section of the uh, blue trail as you leave the tri-state marker come down the rocky path into Massachusetts you will hit a, another one of these stone markers uh, this one was erected in 1906 this side signifies that you're in Thompson Connecticut whereas this side signifies you're in Douglas Massachusetts so we're at the Massachusetts Connecticut border right now uh, the road just below me is the trunk line trail. I'm going to continue up into Douglas a little bit more and then I'll follow the trail back to the car. But yeah, this one was erected in 1906. Thompson, Connecticut, Douglas, Massachusetts. And then all the way back up there is Rhode Island.
Alrighty, so we're up to the Douglas State Forest. We're on the Southern New England Trunk Line Trail. Uh, we're up to the section where the Mid-State Trail that runs from Rhode Island all the way up through uh, New Hampshire crosses. Um, so this is where I'm going to stop, turn around, head back into East Thompson, Connecticut, the side that I started coming in on. Um, the section that continues down through the Douglas area, you can see that in my video and I'll also um, post a link up here down below and maybe at the um, end of this video. That's uh, the one that's the Douglas Trunk Line Trail, which uh, I covered in my last video that goes all the way down to uh, Wallam Lake Road. So yeah, I pretty, covered pretty much a uh, good distance all the way so far from Douglas, Blackstone, uh, which is my Blackstone Gorge uh, video. So yeah, my three hikes, Blackstone River, Gorge Trail, and Blackstone um, Greenway Trail, Southern New England Trunk Trail. So with that section, Douglas, part of Oxbridge, and now this section, I've covered a good portion of it in three videos. So I'm gonna head back, from there, I'll plan some other hikes uh, going up through Bellingham and Franklin on this trail and also all the way down to uh, Mechanicsville. And happy Easter, everyone. He is risen.